African American descent of slaves, descent of chattel slavery, American descent of slaves, black Americans that came from the slave class and Jim Crow and all the other ills that have affected black people that were brought to this country as slaves. It's about reparations. The 14 to 22 trillion on the books off the bat is what I put in place. We'll put that debt on the balance sheet. That's one part of reparations. It doesn't encompass everything that needs to be changed legally in terms of fair housing, education, getting rid of predatory loans, making sure funds are directed properly, any type of mental health, physical health needs that need to be addressed that were induced by all of that pain and suffering. We know what it is. HR 40, that's the committee. I understand people want to make progress for that, but that's the committee. You can do that through executive order. Executive order can take care of that committee if you want to study it. But off the bat, I just want to set aside saying, hey, I'm put 14 to 22 trillion on that balance sheet. I know personally that I can get the balance sheet of the United States balanced or even maybe a little bit of a surplus. And over time, any debts become less of GDP as a percentage as long as our economy is growing. And historically, over time, our economy has grown at 3.5% per year. This is something that can be done. Other groups were compensated. Japanese, Native Americans, even Holocaust survivors, and the USA had nothing to do with that. So this has to be done. It's old to be done. It's not a handout. It's money that is owed to the descendants of slaves in the United States. Let's put that figure on the books and we can go from there.